Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 25th of 2020. Well, it is titled Northern Winter Night. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image of the winter sky as taken in the northern hemisphere and one of the most prominent constellations in the winter sky and one that many people can also often identify is the constellation of Orion, which we see right towards the center of this image, three stars in the belt and then other stars outlining the body of Orion the hunter. And that is again one of the most prominent winter constellations. And in addition, we can identify some of the objects within it if you see the reddish blob in the sword of Orion hanging down from the belt. That is the Orion Nebula, a great star forming region. And we've actually looked at many images of that over the course of time and seen that there are stars currently forming there and the pinkish glow that we see is the uh, hydrogen gas that has been excited by the hot stars that have formed. So it is really one of our closer star forming regions, not a very large one as we look at others that are massive compared to Orion, but it is well studied and well photographed because it is one of the nearest. Now if you notice the stars in Orion they tend to be blue with one exception the star towards the left uh, upper left is the star Betelgeuse which is a bright red supergiant star and the colors tell us about the differences in temperature Betelgeuse is a much cooler star than for example Rigel over on the right hand side which is much bluer. So the blue stars tell us that they are very hot stars, maybe a couple times the temperature of our sun. And Betelgeuse being a red star would be about half the temperature of our sun. So one of the things when we look at stars, it the colors tell us about the temperatures. Whereas when we look at the Orion Nebula, the reddish color there is telling us about the composition or the glow of the hydrogen gas that we see there. Now Betelgeuse is not the only red star that we see there. If we look up towards the top, we see another reddish star. And that is the bright star Aldebaran. Aldebaran is in the constellation of Taurus and represents the eye of the bull. And the bull's head is made by the Hyades star cluster, which is the V shaped cluster. And Aldebaran is at the at one end of that. And Aldebaran is actually not a part of the Hyades cluster. It happens, happens just to be located in that same direction in space. So we get to see a number of things here in the winter sky and very easy objects to go out and identify when you get a nice clear night. You can see Orion very easily and you can actually see the Orion Nebula as the middle star in that sword. Uh, if you have a dark enough sight, you may be able to pick out the differences in color although they're much easier to see in a photograph like this than they are with your eye. But you can often pick out the differences in the color that they're not quite the same between looking at stars like Betelgeuse and Rigel. So hopefully you get a chance to see these on one of these nice cold winter evenings in the northern hemisphere. So that was our picture of the day for December the 25th of 2020. It was titled Northern Winter Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Fox Fur Unicorn Christmas Tree. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.